Hey and welcome back here on a new tutorial on our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we will combine the texturing XYZ displacement textures here in Photoshop to one single image. So if you buy a texture pack which is some human skin you will get three different PSD files. If you buy an animal pack you will get these files here. But we will have a closer look on them in a second. So I imported here the PSD files first and it is really important to start here on the displays part. We convert this here on the image to an RGB color and now we have here on the right side under the channels all the three different channels. So we can disable it here and make sure you have the blue one selected. So into the blue one we will copy paste the micro details. So the micro details are pretty high frequency details which um, are stored in the, in the texture. So they are in the photo scan and they extracted it and have it here in a single PSD file. And we want to combine this together with Ctrl A on the keyboard. You can select the old picture data here and with Ctrl C on the keyboard you can copy it. Here back on the displays one we can copy and paste it with Ctrl V here into the blue channel. Cool! Now let's go for the green one. So here on the green one make sure you have selected. We will copy and paste it here then, the tertiary information. For that again Ctrl A on the keyboard, Ctrl C on the keyboard, back to displays and Ctrl V here on the green one. And here we are and that's how it looks like combined and that's exactly how you want to have it looks like. So why we are doing that? So if you paint in Mari or in Substance Painter with these textures you will paint at the same time all the three different um, informations which is pretty important to have it on the right spot on the texture because they are actual scan data. So it's almost impossible, no, it, it is impossible to paint on the exact position all the information, which is, yeah, it is impo impossible to do that. So this is done for now. If you want to export it, you can go here back to the layer and you can crop it to something like they are, they're pretty huge. You don't want to save it as one single image. So as you can see, up to 20k. So you want to crop it here. To something like that. Enter on the keyboard. And here, file. Save as. And you can name it here. I think this was the wrong one, file, save as, not save as, copy, save as, and here you can save it here as texturing X, was here, displacement film of full face, blah blah blah, whatever, it's up to you if you want, how you want to rename it, or yeah, whatever, I do underscore here and say nose, because it's the nose, <laughs> and here you can change it to a tiff, and save it. Here you can say compress it or not, I leave it away and it's all fine, press OK on the keyboard and it's saved. Here in the PSD or no, now it's a TIFF but we can go back here and crop another one. We can rename this cheek left side or right side, whatever you will prefer. But we will have now a look for the animal part. All right, now let's combine here the animal texture. So here on the height map or on the height texture, the first thing we will do is go for image mode and change it to RGB as well here. So now we get here the three different channels which we need. So hide it here, go for the blue one and into the blue we want to copy paste the K 
cavity mode, or not the cavity mode, the cavity texture. So Ctrl A again, Ctrl Z, go to height, and Ctrl V. And let's go for the green. Into the green comes the bump information, Ctrl A, Ctrl Z, and here Ctrl V. And that's how it looks like combined. So the only difference here is the file here is in 32-bit, while here on the human skin it's 16-bit. That's why it looks a bit different, but that's absolutely fine. So the textures from XYZ the PSDs come uh, 16-bit, so that's right, that's correct. And here for the animal skin it's 16-bit, that's also fine. And here as well, you can save it out uh, as snippet versions or as a huge texture. That's absolutely up to you. But yeah, same logic here. Paint one stroke, get all the three different informations. Pretty handy, pretty strong. And in the next tutorial, we will look how we can paint with that in Mari. But see you then. Bye bye.